Hi everyone. Today I'm working on a project that is just for fun and it's to fill our whole house with fresh cut flowers. And it's going to be such a joy to spend some time with you together here in my garden, arranging flowers and bringing them into the home. So I think what I'm going to do to try to make it um, the easiest filming wise is to just set up the camera and film all the bouquets coming together. And then I'll do some voiceovers where I can talk about what kind of floral ingredients I'm using whether I'm using a pin frog or chicken wire or a combination of different mechanics to get that design to work and hold in place. But mainly, I just hope this video brings you a lot of joy and encourages you to go out into your garden and pick some beautiful things that you've grown and bring them into the home. So let's get started and have some fun together. So for this first arrangement, I want to make a large statement piece for our dining room table. And I want the main focal flower to be sunflowers, because aren't they just glorious? So this beautiful vase that I'm using is a piece of handmade pottery that my aunt made. And it used to belong to my grandma, but when she passed and then my grandfather passed also, we all got to take a piece of pottery from their house. And I chose this piece because I just thought it would make an absolutely beautiful vase. Now I've prepped the vase with a very heavy frog and also a ball of chicken wire. And I've secured all of the foliage into the frog before I got started adding in the filler and the flowers. going for a monochromatic color theme here, just mainly yellows, but I did add some Joe Pie weed in to start because I want a little bit of a prairie look, just like our backyard. So what I've been putting in is some beautiful Rebeccias, some Denver Daisy Rebeccia, some Canary Bird Zinnias, a whole bunch of sunflowers, and straw flowers too. The kinds of sunflowers you'll see in this arrangement are Evening Sun, Joker, and then this yellow variety is something that just always pops up every year. I'm not really sure what it is. Next up, I just want to fill up our entire kitchen with buckets and buckets of limelight hydrangeas. And limelights have always been my favorite flower ever since I can remember. And this time of year, they're really in their full glory. So I'm just going to pick as many as I can and just fill up a bunch of vases and decorate the kitchen with them. There's really not too much to working with limelights. Just if you wanna pick them for the vase, make sure that they're fully opened. And if you want them to dry in the vase, wait until they've started to turn their antique fall color. They'll dry best that way.
Now I think I want to make a beautiful and just a fun arrangement for our bedroom. I'm going to get a little bit artsy on this one, but mainly I just want to feature some gorgeous dahlias that are coming into season. So for the foliage here, I'm using Tiny Wine Nine Bark, and I'm using just a pin frog in this clear bowl which can be a little bit challenging, but I've found that working in this particular way really helps me to learn because it is quite challenging. So I like to work in a triangular shape when working with a pin frog and this type of open vessel. So you'll see that I have some tall stems going up vertically to the left, and then we go down at an angle to the right where some are coming out of the vase horizontally and then back across to the left. So you could almost draw a triangle there just with the structural foliage. And I do it this way so that my arrangement does not topple over. Using that triangular shape will make your arrangement strong and really give you a lot of versatility. I'm using some other fun ingredients in this arrangement, like Firelight Hydrangea, some Nico Blue Hydrangea that have already taken on their fall color, some Pink Flamingo Celosia, even I'm popping in some Ridiculous Coleus every once in a while, which almost is taking on the look of a flower as well. But really, let's face it, the star of the show is these dahlias. So now I'm going to work on the final two arrangements and what I want to do here is use basically the same floral ingredients, the same color palette, but for this first arrangement that's going to go into our guest bathroom, I'm going to assemble it in just a glass mason jar with no mechanics at all. So no floral frog, no chicken wire. And even though it's a little bit limiting, I can get a little bit of movement with arching branches. So for these arrangements, I'm using some beautiful things. And this one is Lime Time Coleus, some Gomfrina, some Luminesa Zinnia, some beautiful Double Click Cosmos and even a beautiful lime spirea. That's the one with the little leaf that has the lime color. So you see, even though I love the way this is coming together, I'm very limited in terms of what I can do structurally. Now I'm working on one for our living room with the same color palette, 
The structural foliage here is the beautiful Winecraft Gold Smoke Bush, but see how I can create beautiful length going to the sides with a big opening in the middle by having that chicken wire ball in the middle of this vase. I just love the versatility that it brings and that really you can create any design your heart desires when you just use some good mechanics. Well guys, that was really a lot of fun to pick all those flowers from the garden and to make some beautiful arrangements. I hope you enjoyed it. And mainly I wanted to make this video to encourage you to get out into your garden and to pick some beautiful things, to arrange with them and to bring them into the home because there's just a certain level of joy that you experience when you do that. You know, you grew them out into the garden, they look beautiful, but arranging with them is almost like creating a piece of perishable art. And I love that. I love that floral design is perishable because it gives us the opportunity to create again next week. And just some overall advice on floral arranging is to really think about mechanics. If you're just arranging in a clear vase that's just a tall cylinder, you're gonna be really limited in what that arrangement looks like at the end of the day. So try using some wide bowls with a pin frog or chicken wire, things like that, where you can really get creative and think outside the vase, if you will. And just be encouraged by a quote that I heard once that really has stuck with me since I heard it. And it's that gardeners make some of the best floral arrangers because they know how these plants grow in the garden. And I think that's true because, you know, we've grown these things from seed. We know, do they arch? Do their heads fall over? Do they stand upright? Um, I just think it really gives you an understanding of nature and then to translate that form into the vase, it just feels like that beautiful garden bouquet rather than a stiff floristry or should I say old school floristry bouquet. Well guys, thanks so much for spending some time out here in the garden with me today and also in my home. And until next time, happy gardening. Bye. Mm -hmm.